Well, this fixture has all ended in a draw. Man City won, Liverpool won. If I told you to watch my match preview, you obviously heard me tell you that the best result Liverpool can get at Etihad is going to be a draw. And I gave Man City a winning percentage of 60% and you saw it on the field of play that Man City dominated almost everything that was all about possession and the equated chances and I believe that sometimes they've been really unlucky and those are signals that show you that you are not obviously going to win this game of football and uh, Liverpool really had a very low possession but all what they did was to really defend in numbers and attack in numbers that is it because Liverpool in transition are really one of the best teams in the world but they've gone ahead not to really get to where they deserve to be as a team but I think if at all there is a Liverpool player <coughs> or a Liverpool fan that is complaining of the result that they would have gone ahead for a win I never saw Liverpool putting in efforts that would have gone ahead to call in for a win that is it all the efforts they pulled in were all about getting a point and they obviously got it and I really predicted that Liverpool's best result could be a draw but if the game was supposed if the game was supposed to end in a win or in a W I saw a Man City win written all over it you know so welcome to Rokani Media Football how are you guys and where you watching us from I go by the names of Rokan David smash the like button comment and share if you're only watching us for the very first time endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily now in I think in the first half, it was around the 27th minute, Ebbing Haaland scored his 50th Premier League goal and I think he's the, he's the quickest player to reach that mark in Premier League history. He has gone ahead to break another record of Andy Cole. Then Trent Alexander-Arnold leveled the game in the 80th minute. Very good goal. I liked it because Mohamed Salah drifts from where he was after he was being played in by... Um, by Diaz then Diaz plays a very good ball sorry then Salah plays a very good ball to find Trent Alexander-Arnold and when Trent got that ball do you know what he did he just he just had all took a very far, a very good first touch and it was setting the ball into a shooting position and I think all the defenders of Manchester City never thought that this guy was obviously going to do this they thought that he was going obviously going to really take a touch and maybe shift to his weak foot that is the left foot to go in for carrying effort but no sooner had he taken the first touch than he hit the ball on the instant and he went to the back of the net and Alison Becker couldn't come to the rescue of this side so it comes out to be that it was going to hit to end in favor of no one and it's one one for the side of liverpool and manchester city but um it's going to be really a very 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 disgusting result for the manager of man city because it is really bad when you dominate everything chances shots on target ball possession everything positive corners and you don't really get a result so to it that Haaland had gone ahead to really throw himself in the air and obviously went in for a header that missed out on an, a whisker or just by a fraction of an inch to obviously go in the back of the net but there are other chances like that of um Haaland again stopped by Alson Baker um, Julian Alves um what's the name of the guy um this other guy that plays in the midfield Rodri had an effort you know Phil Foden was trying but Liverpool were really organizing that central defense and them conceding one goal shows you exactly what they're supposed to get last season last season they scored I think Mohamed Salah scored I think in the op I think the seventh minute of the game when he scored everyone really got to know that maybe having spent close to seven years without winning at the Etihad, Liverpool had it on the grip. But guess what? Things turned out nasty and it was 4-1 in favor of Man City. By this time round, Liverpool have gone ahead to hold on to that, though you saw to it that they had problems in what we call the transitional play. And uh, the manager brought in Luis Diaz. Uh, Luis Diaz really was never played into play. And I think the two times they played him into play you saw to it that there was what we call a huge threat in the final third and uh he was being marked by carl walker who never allowed him to go to the byline to obviously get in a cross or anything else like that so 
it never seems okay not until the results really come out but Jurgen Klopp has gone ahead to approve the words that Pep Guardiola went ahead to say about him that he makes him a better coach that is it and um Liverpool is really not allowing Man City to go away from that so that means that if at all Arsenal wins today they'll go on top of the Premier League table and they'll be having 30 points and it's a wake up call to Arsenal that you can now be two points ahead of Manchester City and um and three ahead of um, I think and two I'm going to show you the table to be really exact and even Spurs if at all they win they're going to be at 29 points so it shows you that the table can change drastically if at all these other teams will go if at all Spurs uh, and Arsenal really go ahead and obviously get a win because Man City is at 29 points Liverpool is at 28 if Arsenal wins it's going to be having 30 points and um, and Tottenham is going to be having 29 so but Tottenham is hosting Aston Villa we don't know how everything is going to go on and really pan out like that but it's a huge result for Liverpool that is it but for Man City it's a slip it's a very huge slip that you wouldn't allow to happen when it's obviously when it's obviously 10 minutes to the full 90 and you concede then when we go to the team stats 16 shots by Manchester City Liverpool had eight on target Man City had five meaning that Liverpool really closed down very well and three shots on target for Liverpool 61 ball possession by Man City Liverpool had 39 percent 594 passes completed by Man City Liverpool completed 396 90 percent ball possession by Man City 81 percent ball possession by Liverpool then nine fouls by Man City 11 fouls by Liverpool one yellow card to Man City, three yellow cards to Liverpool, zero red cards to both sides, then three foul, three offsides to Man City and four offsides to Liverpool, nine corners to Man City and Liverpool had six corners. That's why I told you that they went ahead to dominate everything positive in this game. Let's go to the realistic Premier League table on how it's standing right about now as we obviously come to the end of this video. Man City, 13 games, 29 points. Liverpool 13 games 28 points Arsenal 12 games meaning that they have a game in hand they're going to play against Brentford tonight um it's 27 points Tottenham Hotspur is also playing tomorrow 12 games 26 points uh, Aston Villa have a chance also to close in have a chance also to close in if at all they win their game today uh 12 games sorry they win their game tomorrow they'll be at 28 but they are playing Tottenham Hotspur so it shows you that this table is going to change drastically Manchester United is having 21 points meaning that if at all they win tomorrow against Everton they'll be at 24 points and that means they'll be just five points behind the side of Manchester City three points behind Liverpool and it's a huge chance for Manchester United by the way if at all they go ahead and obviously win their game against Everton they'll close in very 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 well so that is it and that's how the Premier League table is really standing and you wait and see how Chelsea is also going to have to obviously go in and really put in a shift and it shows you exactly what Pep Guardiola really said about Newcastle Manchester United Arsenal he said they could join the party to compete for the league and you see to it that this only draw if other teams win United is going to be five points behind um, behind the table leaders you know so it is really 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 possible for huge turnaround to be made at this stadium but Jeremy Doku I think he kept Trent Alexander Arnold busy but the way Joel Matip really went ahead to close down and help him a lot was really was really impressive and um graven but coming in through to obviously do the needful was really another highlight of the day but i think when jagen klopp was seated there he obviously was thinking that i had 150 million pounds to spend on to on to Caicedo, and i spent like 15 million pounds to <clears throat> or to bring in endo i still have 100 million pounds with me and trust me if he gets a serious cdm into that team he is going to redeem that team because you saw to it that all they missed was fabinho that is it 
all they missed was a Fabinho in that midfield. And I think he needs to obviously revise his updates and obviously go in the general transfer window as soon as it opens up because I saw a story that they are willing to sign a player before even January knocks on the door. And I think they are going to do what they did for Cody Gakpo um, late last year from the World Cup. If at all they get in a player like Paulinha in that midfield of Liverpool, trust me, it's going to be a hard trophy journey for Man City. Having close to three teams competing for the trophy is really the hardest that you'll ever want to face as the side of Liverpool, sorry, of Man City. So guys, I'm not going to tell you my man of the match because nobody stood out in this game. Nobody stood out. However much Man City were really threatening, but I think Jeremy Doku was the one who, who obviously kept him, kept him busy. But I would like to thank the referee, though he was a little bit making some soft calls for Man City, but he let the game flow to an extent that he issued the first yellow card in the, I think, 75th minute. That's when he obviously issued the first yellow card. So, all the calls, VAR got them right, and I think that's what we had to discuss all about. So, full time, Man City 1, Liverpool 1. It all ends in a draw. May the living to God bless you abundantly. Rock and David remains my name. Chelsea, Newcastle next. Then Arsenal playing away at Brentford follows.